Hindi pa natatapos ang basketball journey ni Kai Soto. As he nears the end of his contract si NBL Australia, ay bubukas na rin ang pinto ng NBA para kay Kai Soto. Siguradong napaka-excited na ni Kai Soto na subukang muli na makapasok sa si NBA this time through the free agency mga ka-informatics. Pero ang tanong, kaya na ba ni Kai Soto ang NBA? Ano ang mga katangian na nasa kanya na pwedeng maihambing sa mga NBA players and even NBA All-Stars? What makes Kai Soto similar to famous NBA All-Stars? Well, sa video ito ay titingnan natin ang mga similarities ni Kai Soto sa mga present and past NBA All-Stars upang maintindihan natin kung gaano nga ba kadaling si Kai Soto mga ka-informatics. Napakarami pa kasi ang mga magagawa si Kai Soto na hindi pa niya na-maximize flying under coach CJ Button. Upon analyzing his flying style, we came up with a list sa mga skills ni Kai Soto na maihahambing natin sa mga NBA players and NBA All-Stars. So basically, Kai Soto is all about height and length mga ka-informatics. Pero kung fan ka ni Kai Soto, ay alam natin kung ano pa ang kanyang makakaya aside from his height and length na napaka-crucial sa isang basketball player. Kai Soto is a 7-3 center from the Philippines who is considered a highly talented prospect for the NBA. Some of the similarities he has with famous NBA All-Stars include the following. First, size and length. Like many of the NBA's elite centers, Soto has exceptional size and length. At 7'3", he has the ability to be a dominant force in the paint on both ends of the floor. Let's face it, nag-evolve na ngayon ang larong basketball at hindi na nakasentro ang mga play sa mga big men sa ilalim katulad noong panahon ni na Karim Abdul-Jabbar hanggang sa panahon ni na Shaq and Yaoming mga ka-informatics. Kung ipinanganak pa sana si Kai Soto noong panahon na yun, ay siguradong topic si Kai Soto sa NBA dahil he is not just tall. Napakagaling pa sa local scoring. Pero ngayong uso na ang 3-point shooting ay hindi pa rin pahuhuli si Kai Soto dahil maganda ang kanyang shooting range and he can play from the outside. Kaya tinawag siyang modern big man dahil sa kanyang versatility. Second, Versatility Kai Soto has the ability to play both inside and outside, similar to players like Yanis Antetokounmpo, who is known for his versatility on the court. No doubt, napakalayo pa ni Kai Soto compared kay Yanis Antetokounmpo mga ka-informatics. Pero, in terms of skills and versatility, ay napakalaki ang similarities ng dalawa. Pareho kasi silang inside and outside players. And for the record, noong hindi pa nakapasok si Giannis sa NBA, ay hindi naman siya masyadong dominating at napakanipis pa rin ang katawan. In fact, nakatapat pa nga ng gila si Giannis sa FIBA World Cup at tinaya siya noon ni Mark Pingris sa depensa. Although, in terms of potential, ay kita na ang kanyang napakataas na ceiling during those times mga ka-informatics. Third, shooting ability. Kai Soto has a good shooting touch, which is rare for a player his size. Similar to players like Christoph Porzingis, Kai Soto has the ability to hit mid-range jumpers and even three-pointers, making him a very difficult player to guard. Again, hindi natin sinasabi na makasinggaling na sina Kai Soto and Christoph Porzingis. Ang sinasabi lang natin ay malaki ang kanilang similarities in terms of shooting galing sa 3-point area. Pati sa mid-range shooting ay napaka-deadly rin ni Kai Soto, mga ka-informatics. Something na pwede pa niya madidevelop and as he matures, baka magiging kasinggaling pa siya kay Kristaps Porzingis. Fourth, Potential Soto is still young and has a lot of room for growth and development. Which means, he has a lot of potential to improve his game and become an even better player, similar to players like Luka Doncic. 
in terms of potential mga ka-informatics, ay sigurado tayo na dito talaga mag-stand out si Kai Sato. Obviously, dahil he is only 20 years old. Yet, napakaganda na ang kanyang nilalaro si NBL Australia. His potential is sky as the limit. Give him another year or two with the right team and coaches, ay sigurado maghahalimaw na si Kai Sato sa NBA. It's important to note that these are similarities. And Kai Sato should not be compared to those players as they are all stars with a lot of experience in the league and have proven themselves. While Sato is still a prospect and has yet to play in the NBA. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe mga ka-informatics. Ngayong ilang games na lang ang nalalabi sa NBL season ng Adelaide 36ers, ay hindi maiiwasang tingnan natin ang dalawang taon na pamamalagi ni Kai Soto sa NBL Australia, na kung saan na-survive ni Kai Soto ang napakaraming mga challenges sa kanyang basketball career mga ka-informatics. And it boils to the question why Coach CJ Button fails to give Kai Soto the opportunities to reach his full potential in the NBL and how Kai Soto should rather leave the Adelaide 36ers. Walang duda na malaki na ang development ni Kai Soto playing under Coach CJ Button mga ka-informatics. However, there are several reasons to why Coach CJ Button may not have been able to give Kai Soto the opportunities to reach his full potential with the 36ers and why Kai Soto may need to consider leaving the team. First, limited playing time. Soto may not be getting enough playing time with the 36ers to develop his game and reach his full potential. This could be due to a lack of trust in his abilities or a lack of understanding of how to use him effectively in the team system. Napatunayan na ni Kai Soto sa maraming pagkakataon na kaya niya ang level of competition sa NBL Australia mga ka-informatics. Pero, sad to say, na hanggang ngayon ay kulang pa rin sa tiwala ang kanyang coach sa kanyang basketball ability. Kaya, limited pa rin ang kanyang playing time sa kanyang second season sa NBL. At hindi rin naintindihan ni Coach CJ Button ang kahalagahan ni Kai Soto sa kanyang tinatakbong sistema. Limited Role Kai Soto may not be given a specific role on the team that allows him to showcase his skills and strengths. This could limit his ability to make an impact on the court and reach his full potential. Kaya, nagmukhang hindi magaling si Kai Soto dahil sa kanyang limited role sa team. In fact, parang hindi kasama si Kai Soto sa mga offensive teams. Pero na lang sa last 10 games na kung saan ginawang starter si Kai Soto at binigyan ng scoring role during first quarter. Pero ganun pa rin. Sa ibang mga partners ay kahit tigre na siya ay hindi pa rin napakasahan mga ka-informatics. And worse, kahit anong ganda ng kanyang laro ay ibabang po pa rin siya sa fourth quarter. Obviously, mawala ang gana ni Kai Soto at hindi niya makuha ang tamang momentum. And that leads us to our next point. Inadequate coaching Kai Soto may not be getting the coaching and guidance he needs to develop his game and reach his full potential. This could be due to a lack of understanding of his abilities and how to best utilize them. Limited Exposure Kai Soto may not be getting the exposure he needs to get noticed by NBA teams and other professional teams. This could limit his chances of playing in the NBA or other top-tier European leagues. It's worth noting that these are assumptions and it's not confirmed if this is the case, and it's ultimately Kai's decision to make. 